by the saint poet Shishunala Sharifa. In his poem, he says that Soruti Hudu Manaya Maliki. When I heard this poem, I thought of the dripping process. Soruvudu means seepage. It happens where holes are there. Initially, when I started this pouring technique, it looked very interesting. Sometimes it resembles the bleeding blood. Slowly, thought process also started coming out and I could conceptualize the process which connects many different things happening around me in our society. It may be social or political happenings. You can experience many such things in my works. I never plan my painting. Normally, I don't believe in preconceived ideas. When I stand in front of a canvas or paper, without any planning, some image comes out from the depth of my heart. And based on that, I go on adding. These images are churned and shaped in the subconscious. Like stream of consciousness, they come out one after the other. They won't come simply. They come because of my personality and experiences. Many people talk about the stylization, but I don't believe in stylization. Often, I change my styles. Whatever that particular work demands, accordingly, I choose the style, medium and process. Somehow, I like the mood of melancholy. That's why in most of my figurative or abstract works, black, grey or gloomy colour scheme plays a major role, wherein it creates an eerie situation. In most of my works, except in some abstract works, you cannot see the normal prettiness or beautiful images. Romanticism is not at all my forte. Once one image comes or the other images comes, based on those images, I start painting. I believe that my images are capable of telling stories. When some viewer or somebody else sees my works, he should create his own story out of my images. Even though I have some story to tell, but I don't want same thing to be heard or same thing to be seen by my viewers. Because my works come from the process of continuously breaking and recreating myself. They are my inner voices. I strongly feel that every work of art, apart from giving good experience, should make us thinking too. In some of my images, you can find some kind of ambiguity which may lack clarity. For example, a fish may look like some other creature or something else. I have done both abstract and figurative works. In the abstract works, without much thinking, I enjoy the process wherein accidental forms, patterns and textures dominate. Without any inhibitions, I go on doing and doing. When I am satisfied with the outcome and imagery, then I stop. My works are like visual poetry. Some of my abstract works evoke spiritual feeling too, which gives meditative experience. In my long journey, I have tried some series. In the beginning, 
I started with metamorphosis series. Then I switched to masks. After that, started the series between the dead fish and the gloves. And in these works, I try to depict my view on society, which is the combination of world around me and world inside me. In my formative years, I used to give titles for my works. But nowadays, most of my works are untitled. As I told you in the beginning, I think that the viewers should create their own stories. Normally, most of the artists use symbols, but I believe in metaphors. Metaphors will have multiple meanings. So, my images are like metaphors. Sometimes I use fish, some other times snake, chairs. Each of these metaphors will change their meaning and affect according to their contextual situations. Like in a chess play, how the pieces of the chess or pawns play a different role with the different powers, my images are also like that. In my long journey of over 40 years, I have used most of the mediums available to me. Nowadays, I have been fascinated by the pastel medium. This medium gives a different kind of textures on different surfaces. I exploit these textures and patterns. around me, they see and they paint, but I feel the other way. I paint and them see. 